It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll be watching the Patriots superstar running back. He's the owner of the third most rushing touchdowns league-wide. It's the Pats and the Chiefs, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. After what we saw last week, over 400 yards passing, thing is to go talk to him I want to talk to his receivers and boy were they enthusiastic about what happened then and they can't wait for this week's game he was hitting them outside over the middle everywhere and for his efforts of course AFC offensive player of the week well, this is caught by Williams well, this defense for the Pats they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans and I think our statistician we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope he'll recover. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Marcus Jones picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now the Holmes to try again after the pick six. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So already trailing, Charles, they opted to try to take a shot on their first play from scrimmage. Obviously, that one didn't pan out. Absolutely not. And how about the momentum that's being created now? You score, you take it away, big return. You've got a chance to go up two touchdowns here early in the game. That'll feel great for their team. So here are the Patriots now, an excellent field position to start things out. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. 
And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Now the first carry here for the running back. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Now second and five. Now they'll run it on the toss. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. The Chiefs offense and their running back, Isaiah Pacheco, getting set for this next possession. As we transition into the second half of the season, you can see he's the NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. The Patriots offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's building his case for MVP consideration with each passing week. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them. That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Oh, 
On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. And the Patriots at 9-1 on the year. And they've been flawless these last couple months. Winners of nine in a row. And let's give them a ton of credit because in a league that's built on any given Sunday, any team can win. To run off this kind of a streak, this kind of a number, that's pretty darn impressive. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great effort there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Patriots are able to widen their advantage. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal. And then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run. Get it right back to him and let him cap things off. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And he's in the midst of a very solid season, currently second in the NFL in passing yards. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. want to. We know, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That pass caught. It's Williams. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 18 more yards there and another first down. Now Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now it's Mahomes again. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. This will go as an 11-yard loss there on first and goal. You've got plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, my man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. No, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Throwing now is Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Mahomes gonna throw. 
Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Sanders is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. So that stems the tide just a little, but this still a two touchdown game. And I think that maybe that was a bit of a calming drive for this offense, and that's exactly what they needed. They were able to move the ball. They did some good things. It's still the second quarter. Plenty of time to go. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Slot man moves right. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. down they'll go to the ground attack credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine yeah things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space i think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run staying on his feet but in the end the pressure too great and he goes down Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. They'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have moved out in front by three touchdowns. 
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, gotta give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Now here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That is caught. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes out to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. But no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game at a moment's notice. Elliott good with a PAT, and the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. In the middle, it's complete. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. Second down and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's Williams on the catch. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them at the end zone as the first half winds down. Sanders' kick is good, and that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. The Pats at the line, ready to go. One second, all that remains. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you across town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, bye weeks, they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in Week 12. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it is the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. Garrett Wilson, a touchdown catch in that first half. From there, we'll head to Cincinnati to check on the Bengals at home at Baycourt Stadium. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Joe Burrow has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Drake London, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Patriots to take over. They are working on that very impressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to 10 as they've got the lead here, first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Hands it off out of the gun. 
pushing his way through. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 95 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Second and seven. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now a handoff up the middle. Moody. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Fighting through pressure. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Finds his man complete. It's Rice. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Here's a second and five. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Pats will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. 
Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Oh, some strong running. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And this group has suffered far too many self-inflicted wounds thus far as we run through some of the mistakes. It, it's darn near impossible to win in this league when you're turning the ball over at the frequency that they have. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. It's complete to Williams. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back live to Orlando. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Mahomes. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Pats are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. The Patriots offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. The Pats at the line, ready to go. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, we enjoy. Share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but <laughs> in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones, and it's going to be hard to parse. Who's going to win the MVP? Yeah, it really is. Right. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 143 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18.
They'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Looking to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So certainly a big mistake there, Charles. First and goal, and they throw the interception. Oh, that's just agonizing for a team because you still got at least two, maybe three downs in your pocket. So if it's not there on first down, there was no sense in trying to force something. Instead, they turned the ball over. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Throwing now is Mahomes. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. He may go. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Parker hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. Elliott now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. Throw over the middle, he finds Williams. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. So from the 37, here's second down and one. Mahomes going to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. And again, it's Mahomes. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. 
Back to throw again. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second and ten at the two-yard line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And some room to run now. There he goes again. He's got a full head of steam on his horse. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Mahomes now to throw. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. First down. One final try for Mahomes. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for New England, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10 and 1. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.